Tree changes are squeezing the regional housing market. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee. Let's have a look at this article from realestate.com.au that was sent to me by a viewer. Regional communities squeezed as city workers relocate and put pressure on the housing markets. Now, we've seen this many times. I'm going to bring up one example. This is for asking prices in regional New South Wales. And this will just load up here. I'll refresh this page. Have a look. Boom. Look at that, guys. Look at that insane growth there. I'll just bring... Hang on. Let me bring this up here, and we'll see. We're going... 944,000 for all houses, 794, and we were about 600,000 in 2020. Just look at that. That's insane, everyone. It just shows you the growth that's happening in some of the regions. And of course, the locals, you kind of plan it for 900 grand. Oh, sorry, for 600 grand and then a 30% increase. Awesome. So, since the COVID-19 pandemic began, a record number of Australians have abandoned capital cities in favour of regional living. Well, you can't blame them. They can get more value for their money. You can sell your shitty little box in Sydney and actually have some breathing room in the regions. Competition for housing has followed, dealing a blow to affordability in many of these most sought-after locations. The rise in remote and hybrid working has been key to this trend. And while the ability to work from anywhere has proven a boon for many workers, some of the, the fastest growing regions are now seeing a shortage of housing. And locals are being squeezed out of housing in their hometowns as a result. In the months following Australia's first lockdown, vacancies rose and rents fell across many of Australia's inner city suburbs. Simultaneously, the reverse was happening in many regions. As a result of this shift, there were 46% fewer properties available for rent across regional Australia in October 2021 compared to October 2019. Increased demand has led to properties being snapped up at record speeds and for increasingly higher rents, pricing some locals out of their own markets. Rents in many regional areas are now approaching and in some cases surpassing those in capital cities. This is despite average incomes being lower in regional areas. Compared to their capital city counterparts, mean income levels are lower in regional areas in every state and territory, with the largest differentials in New South Wales at 23% and Victoria at 18 according to the ABS. As the cost of regional housing increases in many areas, this discrepancy between income levels is becoming more of an issue. What's more, many of the industries which best lend themselves to remote working pay higher and average salaries. The average yearly earnings of an individual working in the information, media, and telecommunications f- sector, for example, is $28,080 higher than an individual working in manufacturing. This surge in remote and hybrid workers on city salaries moving to the regions has driven significant rent growth, particularly in New South Wales and Victoria. In both states, the top five S- SA4, SA4 regions for rent growth we're all in regional areas. What's this? This is the net internal migration, greater capital cities combined. Oh, boy. There you go. People are fleeing the cities. I can't blame them. I can't blame them. But we'll see. We'll see how long they last in the regions, guys. Because you don't have all the facilities you're used to in the cities. In New South Wales, the, uh, the Coffs Harbour, Harbour Grafton, SA4, saw the strongest rise in the median cost to rent a house, up 27% over the two years ending November 2021. This equates to an extra $6,240 per year. Richmond Tweed placed a close second, with renters paying 26% or $7,020 more compared to two years ago. Despite topping the state for rent growth prior to the pandemic, average income in these two regions were the second and third lowest in New South Wales. It's a similar story in Victoria, where several of the lowest income regions have seen among the strongest growth in rent. Wurrunnambool and the southwest saw the strongest growth in Victoria, with the median cost to rent a house up 25% from November 2019 to 2021, or an extra four grand per year. Across Australia, coastal areas have dominated for rent growth. Morinda 
23%, saw the strongest growth in Western Australia. And we had a look there. And one of my $400,000 starter home challenges, you could buy a house in WA, on, on Miranda, and then rent it out and be positively geared right now at the current interest rates. It's just nuts. In Queensland, the Sunshine Coast, 23%. Wide Bay, 18%. Mackay, Isaac, with Sunday, 14%. Regions were top performers. While the easing of restrictions could see some renters return to cities, we're unlikely to see a complete reversal. Although the pandemic accelerated the trend, migration to the regions was, was already occurring. As regional populations continue to rise, it is vital that the supply of new housing keeps pace to ensure affordability within these communities. Well... Let's, let's have a little bit of a talk about this one, guys, because this is an interesting topic here. Now, there's a few things we have to consider. There's going to be people priced out of their homes. There's going to be people who won't be able to live in the regions. Now they'll have to upskill or they'll have to move somewhere else. There's also going to be people who made the change and perhaps didn't quite agree, didn't agree with them. And then they move, they'll move out in six months to a year. We'll have to see what happens there. But also, what about the infrastructure in these areas? Is it going to keep up with this population growth? Or are we seeing a shift away from Airbnb and those you know, short-term holiday stays, particularly on the coast, flipping over to these type of properties? We'll have to watch and see, guys. I'd hate to be in one of the you know, regions trying to break in the market and then, boom, property just goes insane. Gonna have to move. Hey, you might get a bargain in the city. I hear units are going cheap, at least for now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I want you to check out this video about Maramba, where they're facing a homeless crisis, or they were. But, you know, the council is bitching, moaning, and screaming. But how much development and projects have they stopped? Check it out, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.